All right, hello class. Today I'm going to put, give you a tutorial about how to calculate standard deviation uh, from binned data. Okay, so here you're going to come across this in homework two, uh, week two, homework two. Uh, so it'll be about uh, after the first exam. And what you're going to do when you come to this question here, inevitably, is you're going to see that here's our data, and it's going to be asking you to calculate S, which is the standard deviation. Now you can try and do this by hand using this big old formula, which I would strongly recommend, or you can use StatCrunch, and I'll show you how to do it with that method. All right, so first you see the data here. You don't have to enter it in manually. Instead, click on the blue squares, select the option Open in StatCrunch. StatCrunch is going to open with all of the data populated in the appropriate way. I'm then going to go to Stat. I'm going to go to Summary Stats. And then here, the option I'm going to pick is grouped slash binned data. And a bin is essentially any type of window that is looking for a number of times a thing has been recorded within that window. Okay, and so what we have here, we have the uh, blood platelet level of count of males. And we're looking at how many males have this blood platelet count level between 0 and 99, 100 and 199, 200 and to 299, so on and so forth. Okay, and so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to find the standard deviation of how much does this, uh, is, how big is the distribution between uh, people who have one frequency over another frequency, uh, one bin over another bin, sorry. All right, so like I said, you're gonna go to summary stats, grouped slash binned data. Okay, we're gonna pick that one. The next first thing we're going to do is we're going to, it's going to ask us the bins. So what are the bins? We just went over what the bins are. They're basically these little windows that they set up that uh, determine different levels of platelet count. And we're going to select that level from the drop down menu. And then it's going to ask where are the counts? The counts are in the frequency. It's the only option we have left, right? These are the actual people who have how many people actually fall within each bin. That's the frequency. How frequently do we have people falling in one bin versus another bin? All right, then we go down to the statistics portion, and we're going to determine what it's asking of us. We already know that it's asking for standard deviation. We're gonna select that, and you see that it migrates this option over to the right box, which is what we want. And then all you do is hit compute. And then you have to make sure that you read the instructions very carefully. It's gonna give me an output box here right? It's going to tell me that the uh, approximate summary statistics at the standard deviation of the blood platelet count of males is, a pro is exactly 63.635, And what it's asking us is to round to one decimal place as needed. So we're going to round uh, 63.35 to 63.4, and when I put that in, that was the correct answer. Okay, so this is how you'll do it. This is not going to be the uh, same data that you will have for your question. Uh, so please do not just copy this answer and put it into your homework, because that will most likely not be correct. Uh, just follow the steps that I gave you, and you will be golden. Okay, if you have any questions, email me.